So the London Borough of Camden has been experiencing some crazy demand when it comes to property. And it could be quite confusing to understand such a big borough such as Camden. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top neighbourhoods that it has to offer, but also stay to the end because I'm also going to be sharing exactly what you could get for your money if you are a buyer or if you're a tenant. <laughs> famous Camden Market. But there you have it, whether it's parks, markets, restaurants, and even canals, Camden has it all. So in Hanford, Belsize Park, but also South End Green, you've got endless things to do. Starting with the Heath, museums, has beautiful little alleys like this. Adana is one of my favorite places for gelato. You've got some fresh bakery here. And if the shops and restaurants don't do it for you, then you can just take the time to just walk through the beautiful alleys, look at the beautiful cottage and houses and peer with properties that the area has to offer. You seriously will not run out of things to do in this area. However, if you do prefer to be in the middle of hustle and bustle, then south of the borough would probably be a best bet for you. So we're at the bottom of Hampton High Street. Actually, it's an unusual Saturday morning because it's got blue skies, but still raining. So here's another bakery, and the smell of fresh bread is already getting a queue outside Gales. And then you've got Paul's Bakery just behind me. And again. We're outside Belsize Park Station, which is serviced by the Northern Line, not to be confused with Belsize Village, which is probably around about eight minutes away from here. And it has a string of shops, including groceries, some really nice restaurants. You've got Hamon Hamon, which is a great Spanish restaurant. I definitely recommend the pay. Belsize Park is a real mixed bag of independent shops, but also big brands. The likes of Daunt Books, which is one of my favorite bookstores, but it's also just eight minutes away from Hampstead Heath and the fantastic South Green Village, which, to be to be honest with you, it's one of my favourites in North West London. Now, if you want a proper tour of Belsize Park or Hampstead, check out the couple of videos we have for you. You really do get a mixed bag of period buildings around here. Then you get this red brick semi-detached front. Look at this building just behind me. So I'm right in the middle of Belsize Village, which has a small string of shops, cafes. It also has a very necessary vet. Uh, in the area. Of course, you've got a lot of dogs in the area, having Primrose Hill just around the corner, but also the Heath a few minutes away. So let's make our way to our next stop, which is Primrose Hill. I'm at the corner of Primrose Hill on England's Lane, and I'm going to do a quick pit stop, get myself some decent coffee at Starbucks. You're going out for your Saturday morning walk? What's his name? Oreo. Such a beautiful colour. Yeah, he's a very gentle boy. You're in for a real treat for Primrose Market. You've got a variety of stores, whether it's groceries, jams, you've got your butchers. I feel like a little boy in a candy store. You've got a variety of stuff in here. Hi hey there. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you very much. Amy, let me ask you, what makes Primo's Hill such a great space? So, it's a lovely area because it's a very eclectic mix of people from all walks of life. And uh, they're all fairly adventurous from what I see, friendly and very easy to speak to people in this area and it's, it's a very, tight community very, right it's, it's, a, very, tight it's community. a very tight community yeah. it's a very family orientated i would say it's yep. quite a safe area lots of dogs so what primo's here and we're making our way to the top of the hill to see if the views really deliver on expectations <laughs> So the view's actually pretty amazing, but I think you really need to be here to appreciate it. I'm going to try my best to uh, show you my camera. So you've got the financial district just here, and you can see some of the uh, buildings from the banks there. You've got the Shard, uh, which is based in London Bridge, just across there. So we have finally made it to Regent's Park Road in Primrose Hill, where you have all the restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, and even pubs. Nice big pub here, the Queen's, right on the corner. Local butchers, if you've got a sweet tooth, you've got crepes just across the road. Hopefully they've got some gluten-free options as well. Greenery looks like a great place for a brunch on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Or maybe an afternoon brunch. So we are now crossing the bridge that's going to connect from Primrose Hill into the hustle and bustle of Talk Farm and Camden Town. So we've managed to make it into Chalk Farm. We have Chalk Farm Station just down the road, which services the Northern Line and Camden Town just across on the other side. Actually, what separates it is the Camden Market. You've got the Roundhouse, which is famous for performances, events, concerts. It's always really busy. Chalk Farm is quite famous for its pubs, especially amongst musicians. The Camden Assembly, another pub which is really popular in Chalk Farm as we get closer to Camden Town Market just across the road. It's not only pubs in the area, you've got a few bakeries. In fact, you've got this small bakery here, 
and just next door, guess what? They put a giant bakery. I've got to say, I've got a sweet tooth and this looks really inviting. I mean, Camden's definitely famous for its graffiti and street art. Let's go and see what it has to offer. So we finally made it into Camden Market, just behind us. We're in between Chalk Farm and Camden Town and we're gonna make our way into Camden Town through the market. <laughs> The fact that Camden Borough has so much to offer, whether that's market, canals, parks, restaurants or cafes, means that you should absolutely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything when we share things here in London. So anything from souvenirs to a row of options of food, Asian, Latin American, Indian, whatever you want, you're going to find it here in the Camden Market. What you got there? Thank you very much. It's chicken. Yeah, I, I, I'm good. Thank you very much. But it looks delicious. It really does. Yeah. Thank you so much. You got such a variety here for sure. Thank you. So you get offered food all day long. Oof, my God. So if you like the hustle and bustle, this is definitely the right place to be. Shops and dining just across there. So if eating in the markets isn't your thing and you just want a restaurant experience, but uh, with the Camden vibe, then perhaps in here would be the best place for you to be. You got a DJ here. I mean, you've got food, you've got DJ, you've got like a cocktail bar. What, what else can you ask for, right? <laughs> you almost need to battle your way through the streets of Camden Town. But if you're wondering if there's any quiet areas close to Camden, there's some really quiet roads just off Camden Town. Some of these include Albert Street, Oval Road, Gloucester Place. So let's talk about property prices, what you can get for your money if you're a home buyer. So when it comes to two bed properties, there wasn't that much difference across all the neighborhoods. The only one that really stands out is Camden Town. So for a two bed property, you're looking in if you're in between one million and two million pounds. All the others, you can get something decent for around about 600,000 pounds and that range is up to two million pounds. When it comes to rental properties, pretty much very similar. Around about two to four K, the only one that really made a big difference was Hampstead which will range anything from 2K up to 6,000 pounds. Remember, the market does change. It is seasonal, so it really depends on the time of the year. The research that I've done was at the beginning of 2022, so keep an eye on the market, or if you need some advice, get in touch with our team and we'll be happy to help.